On the edge of Abu Dhabi, the second phase of Mazdar City is nearing completion. Even at this early stage, Mazdar City may emerge as one of the most sustainable cities ever built. Even though it's still mostly a construction site, there's a lot to see inside. On the surface, Mastar City is a place to live and work, but it's really a slowly developing living laboratory where sustainable building practices can be tested in a live environment. Everything from water and waste management to radical transportation experiments are being carried out, as are the selection of like-minded business tenants. Significantly, the city is also intended to be commercially viable. After all, that's the only way any of the technologies and practices that are developed here will ever find use in the outside world. The city will ultimately cover a little over two square miles, with development confined to two large squares surrounded by open space. Ultimately, it will be home to about 40,000 people, with at least that many commuting to work it's here. It's a ground-based uh, bus loop, which will be an electric bus loop, which runs around here and basically connects the, the external car parks. And then we have uh, electric point-to-point -point vehicles, which will be you know, small taxis like the, uh, like the Mitsubishis. A scale model gives some idea of what most of the city will ultimately look like most of which is built on top of what's called a podium, underneath which a personal rapid transit system runs. The city's basic structure is inspired by ancient Arabian building techniques that call for narrow shaded streets and the occasional courtyard where people can gather and do business. The buildings are designed to be well shaded to avoid direct sunlight into the windows. They're highly insulated, which helps keep them cool even on hot days, and the outside streets themselves are kept cool and shaded as well. In fact, they employ some really clever tricks. The minute you walk into the city, the first thing you notice is a dramatic drop in the air temperature. This is a really big deal under the hot Arabian sun, and highly desirable from an energy efficiency standpoint. The special trick is something called a wind tower. The tower, rising well above the rooftops of any neighboring buildings, is a simple empty cylinder with adjustable louvers at the top. The primary purpose is really simple. A tall cylinder is capable of provoking a convection current as hot air rises simply by standing there. This creates a natural current of air flowing from the street level of the city up and out of the top of the tower. The breeze it creates pulls hot air out of the city and makes life in the plaza below considerably more pleasant. If it's a windy day, the tower works in the other direction, pulling wind down into the city. A little water misting at the top makes the breeze even cooler. To top it off, water features throughout the city allow the wind an opportunity to pass across something cool, which continues to drop the perceived temperature another couple of degrees, in addition to providing something pleasant to look at. So what keeps Mazdar City going? Right now, two main things. The first is Mazdar Institute. The Institute is an independent graduate institute developed in part with MIT. The work here, we look, we really focus on kind of understanding the basics of materials, understanding, characterizing their properties, understanding their structures at the, at the micro scale and the nano scale. All of Mazdar Institute's research is focused on addressing three key sustainability challenges water, energy, in the, in the waste, advanced materials. And pass the electrons through different chambers. And then we can transform these waste electrons directly to electricity. So we reduce the cost of the treatment of the water. The single biggest energy problem at Mazdar City is not surprisingly cooling. Mazdar Institute is very active using solar thermal technology to drive absorption use, uh, chillers which can cool coal. buildings in a sustainable uh, this way. Is the electrical route. Uh, another route that we are following here is a thermal route uh, using absorption chillers. So what you see here are collectors, solar collectors, they're concentrating and uh, we are um, just also now... The solar beam down project is a particularly dramatic piece of research underway at the Institute. This solar tower hyper-concentrates the rays of the sun onto an elevated platform, which in turn beams the rays down onto a receiver that could contain a superheated liquid, which in turn would power a generator. 
The theory is that this might be a more efficient way of gathering solar energy, at least in certain environments. It's been a slow process over many years, but construction that will almost double the size of the city is well underway, most significantly in my mind. Although it's just a hole in the ground today, Siemens recently announced that their Middle East headquarters would be consolidated in Mazdar City, bringing more than a thousand employees to this living lab and solidifying their own reputation as a company poised to take a leading role in building the sustainable infrastructure of tomorrow. These types of corporate partnerships are the second thing that is driving the potential success of Mazdar City. Abu Dhabi may be one of the only places on Earth even more oil dependent than the United States, so it's incredibly encouraging to see the amount of investment being made in getting a head start on a post-oil era.